do that to you all in this video i'm going to be putting you through the process involved in populating content on our course shell in the Moodle learning management system this tutorial is specifically designed for academics at the faculty of education university of learning and so we are going to be using the uh, faculty of education e-learning platform so the first thing i have to do here is to sign in uh, using my uh, login credentials and once my signing is successful then i it lands me to my home page to my dashboard so for my dashboard as you can see i have some list of courses already uploaded and i am going to i'm just going to pick on the one that i want to upload content for and that is edt826 so clicking on it the to six loads the edt826 course shell for me now this is the course shell of edt826 designing web tools for the classroom and what i'll be doing in the next couple of minutes is how to customize this page from the default it is by loading the real content of the course on the platform now to start with every course you notice that i have something here like an announcement and there is general there is topic one topic two topic three topic four and all that continuing it continued that way so this is the place where we are going to be uploading the courses based on the course content so the student can have access and this is the place where the students will uh, for the interaction of the student or through the course uh, period so the first thing I'm going to do now is I will click on the turn on editing. Now, once the editing has been turned on, then you will be able to see some of the editing tools that I will need to populate my course. So the first thing I want to do is I want to customize the general. So what I will do is I will click on the edit and click on edit section. Now this is the edit section, this is where it leads you, so I want to put, instead of general, I'm not comfortable with general, so I'll just change this to my course guide. Course guide. The intention here is to provide the students, oh sorry, this supposed to be course guide there is no purpose. so this is going to be my course guide and the goal of the course guide is to provide the students with every information they need before the beginning of the course everything they need to know everything they need to learn the goal of the course all about the course are supposed to be populated on the course guide so now i have already prepared a note for that and this is my own notes for the course information so all i have to do is just to pick whatever is there I just copy it and then I come to paste. Now, my idea of doing this, my I love the approach of first preparing all my course details, all the course contents. I, I love to prepare them prior to coming to the uh, the learning management system. So it just help me to just copy where they are and paste them where I paste where I want them. So this is going to be my course introduction. I want to call this course introduction. I can put an heading here, then I'll call this firstly heading medium. Okay, so this is my course introduction with heading medium. Do you know also as a teacher you can upload your pictures on the course introduction so they know who their teacher is and all that. So the course introduction I'll put here. Then the course course description or course yes course description. So I will just pick my course description here, which I have already written out. Then I will just highlight the course description. It's an heading and I will apply the heading, which is the heading medium. So one thing is we need to be consistent. 
English language to be in Africa. Sorry, I'm already, I'm already, I'm using Grammarly. That is why you are. You can see those things up in for it. My spelling. And then the learning outcomes. What we want the learner to be able to do at the end of the course. So I will just copy those one too. The learning outcomes. Okay. I should be able to using the product or input one down in terms of designing web discussion. Right? So these are the learning outcomes. But when you notice here and here, there is no consistency. I think the lecturing are bolder. So I need to bold this one too. So the same control B we use, we also work on Moodle for bold. Otherwise, you can select the content and click on the B here. Bold. Okay. So now that I am done with that, is there anything I'm missing out? Then the topic we will cover. So I want to give them the list of topics that we're going to cover in this course. So let me see here. Say topics. Sorry. And I'm also going to apply heading, medium, and I'll make it bold. Then, so I think I should put numbering here. So I'll just have to select those things I want to number and I'll click on the other list which will automatically help me to number them as they should be. So my HTML should always be in Alexa because I'm not doing it. Okay. Then uh, the course policies and all that attendance assignments. So all these things we need to put them in place just to be as an advanced organizer for the students so the course policy is the policy for my course attendance meets plus meets for at least two hours in a week and this and that so sorry let me change this to a bold can always prepare this beforehand just look at uh, you know going online courses requires adequate planning we need to plan things out so if you don't plan it you just see that uh, the whole the whole arrangement did not really go well with at the end of the day so I can just plan this and put yeah, so attendance lecture was first day. So, time max, time max, six months. So, that is going to be my grading style. I think I've exhausted my list here. That's everything about my course guide. So, course guide gives my students all they are supposed to know before they start the course. Everything they are supposed to know. And this is going to be the implication on my course page. You can see that these things are going to the course guide. And we have the whole thing, the course policy, assessments, and announcements. So now, these announcements is going to be a forum where I'm going to be making, you know, everything I need to notify the class about. So this is where I'm going to be uh, giving them information on that, upcoming classes, whether there will be webinar and all that. So we can set those ones here. So now let's try to view this from the students. Uh, dashboard. So I will just switch role to. I want to switch role to students. So this is what the student will see. 
okay okay so this is where we're going to stop the video for this um episode so uh please watch the next episode to see how we are able to populate the topic into the customized uh content thank you